So your brain evolved to match the complexity of its world. A more complex world, a more complex brain. Why? Because 20% of the energy you consume goes to 2% of your body mass. We're going to do a little magic trick, but it's going to be inside your head, okay? First, I want you to notice that these two desert scenes are exactly the same. One is just a flipping of the other. I want you to stare at the dot between the red and the green. Don't look anywhere else. Just stare at that dot. And while you're doing this, I'll tell you what's happening inside your head. Your brain is learning. It's learning that the left side of its visual field is under green light and the right side is under red light. That's becoming its new reality. After this experience, you will see the world according to this new normality. When I tell you to, I'm going to ask you to look at the, desert, the dot between the desert scenes, but not yet. Five, four, three, two, one. Look there. Do they still look the same? Okay, and as you look around, it'll start going back to a new normal. Okay, we're just talking about color which is one of your simplest perceptions. Your brain evolved to continually evolve. It's adapted to adapt. It's continually redefining normality, and you perceive things relative to that new normal. So this is an illusion we made about, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. And I want you to notice that there's a dark brown towel at the top and a light orange towel at the side, yes? That is your perceptual reality. But what's the physical reality? If I mask off the rest of the scene, but leave those tiles unchanged, you can see they're actually physically identical. Nothing is changing on the screen, except the meaning of the information. You're seeing the meaning, not the data. I want you to read what you see in the next few slides, and we're gonna do it all together. I'm gonna to show you a point about seeing meaning, right? So, ready, one, two, three. You are happy this. Good, one, two, three. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> one, two, three. What are you reading? I said, read what you see. You all failed. There are no words there. That literally says, what I read, mm. right? There's no law of physics that tells you you have to put an H between that W and A. Why do you do so? Because your brain has encoded the statistics of co-occurring letters in the English and other languages. So when you're presented with that context, your brain fills it in. So notice none of you read what you're dreaming. Why? Because I had you reading. So you read it that way. 